The intention of this video is not to convince you to quit your job and go to grad school. It's mostly about me and my personal reasons for doing it. If that resonates with you, that's amazing. If it doesn't, you still know that it's something that you don't want to do so you can eliminate that option. Basically, it's a win-win situation. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, please watch the video. Anyway, I'm Sagar and I'm a mechanical engineering PhD student at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. So for some background, I graduated with a bachelor's in mechanical engineering from IIT Kanpur back in 2020. After which, I took up a corporate job as a software engineer in some company back in India. After one year, I quit that job and came to the US to do a PhD. A number of factors led to this decision, which I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'm going to divide this video into a pros and cons list. Like I'm going to talk about the negatives of my corporate job or the corporate culture in general. And then I'm going to talk about the nice things, the things that attracted me to research and made me pursue grad school. So let's go. So firstly, let's talk about my corporate job. I was not happy with the work I was doing. I was working in software, I was writing code in SQL to be very very specific which had nothing to do with my mechanical engineering degree at all which I had spent the last 4 years getting. I wasn't doing anything meaningful, I just felt like a cog in the machine just coming into work every day doing mindless jobs which I was not enjoying at all. Which brings me to my next point that the work I was doing was not mentally engaging at all. I felt like I wasn't applying my brain, I wasn't feeling challenged i was just basically writing some code to move data in and out of tables which was like really really unappealing to me and i was just not satisfied with what i was doing on a daily basis now let's talk about work-life balance at this company at this job i did not have any i was expected to stay late work on a lot of holidays and even weekends once i remember i had to work till like 10 or 11 at night on a saturday and then i worked again on the sunday till like 5 pm in the evening which was really bad oh and also this company had a six day work week which was completely insane and i didn't like this at all i don't want my life to revolve completely around my day job there's a lot of other things that i would like to do in my life either for fun or just for creativity reasons you know after my day job ends so this was like a deal breaker for me probably the biggest reason i hated this job was my manager he was quite toxic to say the least as a new employee whenever i would have any doubts about the work and i would go up to him he would not help me out and he would just say that oh you should figure this out on your own and he would even make me feel bad about not knowing things and this was not even technical stuff or like technical knowledge that i could just google and figure it out on my own this was company information that i needed from him in order to get the job done he would yell at me frequently for no apparent reason whenever his seniors would ask him the status of a task that he was assigned he would just push me forward and blame it on me he was a big micromanager which i absolutely hate he would expect me to work on my days off and he would expect me to be available at all times like all times so in conclusion not the best manager also i did not like this company culture in general for some reason staying back late getting yelled at by your seniors was glorified somehow which I don't understand how it works. Now it's possible that maybe my experience might have been particularly bad with the corporate world or maybe the corporate culture is just like that in general and it's not meant for me. But that's not the point of this video. Maybe there is a perfect job out there which solves all of these problems that I mentioned above but I can't spend my life searching for it, right? What I have in front of me are my experiences and I gotta make a decision based on all of that. But also, I have multiple friends working in different industries and I have talked to a lot of them. And not a lot of them seem to particularly enjoy the jobs they're doing and they don't seem very happy with their work either. Some of them have already left their jobs and are going to grad school. Okay, so now let's talk about the factors that made me think of research as a viable option and made me go to grad school. So during my undergrad, I did a lot of research work, which was quite fun to be honest. In the summer after my second year, I was working as a research intern in a lab at IIT Kanpur. 
Kanpur. My project was in the field of droplet microfluidics. I was doing experiments, simulations, which was pretty interesting. I was getting the right amount of help, which made me do even better. After the project ended, I also presented my work at a research conference, which was a great experience overall. Then in the summer after my third year, I did a research internship in Germany at one of the Max Planck Institutes. I have already made a video about that, so you should definitely check that out. I had a really great time at this internship. I was doing experimental work again and it was super interesting. I was producing good results. I was getting the right feedback, which motivated me to even work harder. The vibe there was really amazing. People at the institute were really nice. It was a collaborative environment, very conducive to work. There was good work-life balance, which was amazing. And my advisor there was really supportive. Now, part of this feeling might have come from the fact that I was in Europe and it was a really short-term project. But I think the fact still remains that I really did enjoy working in that environment. I felt like being productive on my own. I didn't have to fight a feeling of inertia and I could really easily get myself to work. After this experience, I decided that I wanted to work in a similar setting. So grad school was the obvious choice. So another thing that I realized based on my past experience and even now that I'm in grad school, I feel like whenever I'm doing research, I am using my brain. I am learning to figure things out on my own, which I I think is a really really important skill. I like thinking about things deeply, trying out different things, failing at it first but then eventually figuring it out. It's it's a really good satisfying feeling. The idea of taking a problem from scratch, thinking about it, doing experiments, doing analysis, that really excites me. This entire process really engages me and I don't feel like I'm doing any kind of mindless work day in day out. So as I said before, my manager at my corporate job was a big micromanager which I did not like one bit. Now it may depend on the individual advisor but in general I believe that in a PhD, I have more ownership of my own project and I don't have to answer to other people as much. In my case specifically, I think I have a really good balance where my advisor helps out and gives necessary feedback, but at the same time also lets me work on my own which I think is really important. Which brings me to my next point that in grad school, I can work on my own pace. Some days I can stay back and get a lot of work done, but other days when I don't have a lot to do, I can just head back early. As long as I'm getting things done and producing results, I don't have to stay back in the office till a very specific time, which I think gives me a lot of flexibility and I really like that. Now, if you didn't know this, because I actually know that a lot of people don't, I do get paid for doing a PhD and I don't have to pay a lot of fees. So although a little underpaying, it is like a job. I knew that I was going to take a massive pay cut if I came to grad school. Back in India, I could lead a very comfortable life on my salary, but I had to live the corporate life, which I was not happy with. In grad school, I knew that I would be getting paid less, but I would be happy with the work I was doing and I would have a good work-life balance in general. And although a little delayed, getting a PhD in the US would give me good returns, even in terms of money in the long run. So I think it's a win-win scenario. Now, the next points are more on a personal note. I felt that if I would have set into the corporate world back in India, my life trajectory would have been set and that idea I did not really like. You know, I'm young right now, I wanted to try out different things, I wanted to go to a different country, try research, try grad school. Right now I have a lot of opportunities and I felt like I should take advantage of these. And I also felt that coming to a new country would, as Ali Abdal would say, maximize my surface area for serendipity, which means that it could open up a lot more new opportunities which I wouldn't be even aware of if I had stayed back in India. Because now is the time to try out different things since I'm young and also I don't want to feel regret like 15, 20 years down the line thinking, oh, what if I would have tried grad school? What if I moved to a different country? So all these reasons also really made me go for it and pushed me to pursue grad school. So yeah, that was it for the video. I hoped you find some value out of it. If you liked it, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, whatever. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.